after sitting at the bottom or near the bottom of the AFC East, the Buffalo Bills have finally exercised their demons and have blown away 20 years of mediocrity. This Sunday, when the Buffalo Bills face the Atlanta Falcons, they have the opportunity to do something that they haven't done since the mid-90s. With a win on Sunday, the Buffalo Bills have an opportunity to win their third consecutive season of 10 or more victories. Clearly, the Buffalo Bills have come a long way, and a lot of their success has to be given to a head coach, Sean McDermott, but also to their quarterback, Josh Allen. Just, I think two weeks ago, I said that Josh Allen was the reward for Buffalo Bills fans who have been loyal to the Bills for so many years. And I think that when we got into this season and the Bills were seen as Super Bowl contenders, it was probably between Buffalo and the Chiefs of who was going to be representing the AFC in the Super Bowl this year. I think there were some of us that questioned the validity behind those claims. And I think that's where we became prisoners of the past. We remembered the old Buffalo Bills. We remembered the teams that had hot starts to seasons. And then they would just eventually fall off. And the Buffalo Bills came out of the gates hot. They dropped their first game to the Pittsburgh Steelers, but after that, they looked like those legitimate contenders. And then things started going bad for them. They had the loss to Jacksonville. They had the loss to the Patriots. They had the loss to the Colts. And there was a lot of people out there questioning whether or not the Buffalo Bills were that legitimate contender that we thought they were. And then during the second half against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers after trailing 24-3 to to come all the way back, tie up the game and send it to overtime, regardless of winning or losing that game, you kind of saw the tides turn for Buffalo. They go to Carolina, or Carolina comes to Buffalo, I should say. They take care of business. Then they go to Gillette Stadium and they down the New England Patriots. And I think there's a lot of people out there that are surprised that this is going to be the Bills' third consecutive season with 10 or more wins. I think that a lot of people, myself included, being a New England Patriots fan, still remember the Buffalo Bills as the mediocre team, sort of the joke of the AFC East. But I think it's become blatantly obvious to everybody who's paying attention the Buffalo Bills are a really good team. And I think that nobody should be surprised that they're having the kind of success that they are. And I also think that when the postseason comes, they're probably a team you don't want to mess with. I know that people are talking about the Indianapolis Colts, the Kansas City Chiefs, the Tennessee Titans. But you're talking about an offense that has Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs, Cole Beasley, Gabriel Davis. Now they have Isaiah McKenzie. You've got a defense that, outside of maybe being a little bit vulnerable when teams run the football on them, look like one of the best defenses in the league. They've got great special teams. They are firing on all three phases of the game. So you may want to discount Buffalo. You may want to pretend like they're the doormat of the AFC. But I think that Bills fans know, and we're starting to see exactly what we thought this team could be. I mean, congratulations to the Buffalo Bills, assuming that you beat the Atlanta Falcons and you should beat the Atlanta Falcons. And I think that Bills fans out there are probably feeling a little bit vindicated after a lot of people doubted them for most of this season.